Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial. Today I'll be sharing with you some gift ideas for that special person in your life. So I really wasn't thinking about creating this video, but when a friend of mine, she's a fashion blogger, asked for gift recommendations for men, I thought to myself, why not share that list with you guys? Because she told me that she has gotten really good responses and really good feedback from it. And most of these products I actually use myself. And as usual, you know that all the products that I'll be mentioning are linked in the description below. So go ahead and check them out and get it in time for Christmas. So the first product I want to share with you guys is the Moth Stand and Wallet. If you guys haven't seen it, I created a video comparing it with the Apple version of this wallet cards right up here go ahead and click it if you want to watch it but what i love about this is it allows me to carry pretty much four cards at a time i've pushed the limits to it and actually have used five and i don't know if you can see it but mine is a little bit more beat up now because i really am using it i carry my phone bring it with me on a daily basis and this is always attached to it unless I'm charging. And what I like about this is it's a wallet and a stand together, hence moth stand and wallet. You can have it portrait kind of like this, which is nice if you're just trying to look at content, leave it on your desk, look at stuff, right? And just kind of like swipe through. It's also nice because you can put it in landscape mode like so. And it just gives you a little bit more elevation and I find that I use it a lot like this when I'm cooking, looking at recipes, or even just at my desk when I want maybe waiting for a certain call, notification, all that good stuff. So the particular version that I have is the magnetic one. And so my phone has MagSafe in it, so I could just snap it on easily. But don't worry if your special person doesn't have MagSafe in their phones. They do have an adhesive version, which is actually cheaper. So you can essentially just stick it on to your device. So the MagSafe version is $30 and the adhesive version is $20. And they have a lot of different colors to choose from, which is awesome. In my opinion, the magnetic connection is strong enough, but if you're worried, they got you covered. Moth created this snap case, which essentially strengthens that connection even more. So if you look at this case, it's my wife's. And this is her wallet once i put it on there it's not going anywhere it really is super strong i can shake the phone as you can see no problem so if you're worried and you want that extra security go ahead and grab the snap case and it's 30 to 40 dollars depending on the size of your phone next up we have the airpods what i have here are the airpods pros which has noise canceling feature and that's the main differentiator between this and the other version of airpods and to be honest, you can't go wrong with either one. You just have to assess what your person would like. What I like about the AirPods is how convenient they are, especially if you're in the Apple ecosystem. I use my AirPods on a daily basis. I use it when I'm cooking, mowing the lawn, laying in bed, sitting on the couch. And if you get this for your special somebody, they'll sure remember you every time they use it. If you look on the Apple website, you can get the second generation AirPods for $130, the newer third generation AirPods for $180, and the AirPods Pros for $250. But make sure to check the links in the description below because you can actually get the AirPods second generation and the AirPods Pros for less because they have been around for a little bit longer. The third item is something that I carry every day. Well, used to carry every day, but now since I'm working from home, not as much, but I've had one since 2015 and it's this Orbit Key Key Organizer. For security purposes, I am not able to demonstrate how it fully works, but let me try explaining it to you. Basically, you just stack all your keys together and then you have this pin that you push through so that it goes through all of your keys and then you screw the other piece in. What that allows you to do is have a pivot so that when you need a specific key, you can choose that key in particular, flip it out, open whatever you need to open, right? And then put it back in and then put it in your pocket. And the best part is it's super organized. Your keys are not dangling around in your pockets or backpack and I love it. I've been using it since 2015, like I said and I really love the ones made by Orbit Key. Next up, we have a power bank, and I'm sure you guys know what it's for and what it does, 
but I just wanted to point out some things that you might want to look out for when picking one. What I like about this power bank that I have, it has 20,000 milliamp battery, which means you can charge your phones multiple times, iPads multiple times, tablets multiple times, and it has fast charging capabilities, and it has USB-A and USB-C. You just wanna make sure that you're getting a big enough size so that you can charge multiple devices, and also have multiple ports and maybe even fast charging so that you're not tied or glued to the power bank for such a long time. And this is not only for somebody who's always on the go. Sometimes I like using my power bank maybe when I'm in a spot in our house that hasn't have an outlet close to it or like have a long wire going through. I just use a power bank so that it's close to the device that I wanna charge and I don't have to worry about outlets. If the Moth wallet is not for you, maybe this wallet from Nomad is something that you're looking for. Um, it's very minimal, and they have different versions from $25 to $120, I think. And so you have a lot to choose from, and what I like about it is, like I said, it's sleek, it's thin, and you can fit a lot of cards in it. It's well made. They have a brown and a black color option for most of their wallets, and the one I have here is the Card Wallet Plus which can hold up to 12 cards and some cash or 16 cards at max, which is insane. Who carries that many cards? But it's just nice to have, like it doesn't feel bulky. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six cards in this wallet right now and it's still pretty thin. And most of the time I really don't carry cash anymore, so it's just nice that if I want to, if I have change or whatnot, I could still put it here. And again, links are in the description below. This next item is something my wife got for us a couple of years ago, and it's this neck and back massager. I can't tell you how many times I took a break in the middle of my day, sit on the couch, turn this on for five, 10, 15 minutes just to relax, and it works really well. I was actually surprised. I was skeptical at first but essentially you know you put it on your back or neck shoulders and you can apply however much pressure you want by just putting more force onto the strap put more weight down and you have different controls on this side you have power rotation so you can rotate one way or the other and you have levels of pressure intensity and also heat after long days of work, it's really nice to be able to have something like this to relax, maybe turn the TV on, sit on the couch, have this on. Personally, if I could get a massage every week, I would do that, but you know, it's pretty pricey, so I settle on something like this. The particular brand that we have is not on Amazon anymore, but when I did my research, you can find one for $40 to $60. Another good gift idea, I think, would be a knife. Trust me, I didn't think I would say that ever in my life, but it's just nice to have something like this for either safety purposes or if you feel that way. But for me, I use it mostly for opening boxes, just casual day-to-day -day life. Just cooler, you know, than just getting a scissor and cutting something. It's like, hey babe, you need help with opening something? Just like, and just cut something open and then, you know, put it back and put it back in my pocket. And yeah, I just feel that much cooler. Honestly, that is basically my use for it. I know other people are probably more into it, but yeah, having a knife that you like that maybe is a little bit more customized, maybe with a message on it, designs on it. This particular one that I have is actually a groomsman's gift. So I didn't even buy it, but I have it and I've used it for a while. So I'll try to link something similar in the description below along with some knife brands that my friends have that I know are good. So all of the items I've mentioned so far have been something that I actually use personally and something that I have, but there are two things that I found online when I was researching or looking at stuff that I thought would be cool to have. One of those things is a coffee subscription. My sister-in-law last year got me coffee, just a regular bag of coffee for Christmas, along with some other things but I really enjoyed that because I like tasting different coffees. I'm not a snob by any means, and I just like to drink coffee, but even a simple bag of coffee was just nice to have, but if you really wanna step it up, getting a coffee subscription for that special person, I think would be really cool. The second and last thing is this UV cleaning water bottle from Lark. 
This is not a sponsored video. I just saw ads about it, saw posts about it. Some of my friends have it and they love it. And I just thought it was a really cool idea to have a very beautiful looking water bottle, in my opinion, that has a lot of functionality to it, especially helping you produce clean water. So take the last two things I mentioned with a grain of salt. I personally can't vouch for them, although I know people who really love them. And so if you are interested, I'll link those two things in the description as well. So there you have it guys. Those are my gift recommendations for this year. I hope that helps you. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you loved it, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.